Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video here at Dang and Diecast. So this was very much a random purchase as the Virtin Group had a massive sale on their website and I thought no point leaving a good deal behind. I'm not too sure if I'm going to need these models in the current diorama series that we are making but we'll see what happens. If you haven't been watching that diorama series make sure to check it out. It's been a nice progress so far and the journey's only started. Right, let's get these models out of the box. So, two models. So, first one we got here is the Vertigin 1800 paver and what goes well with a paver would be a feeder and we have the MT3000 power feeder so first up we have the Vergler 1800 paving machine which is made by WSI the model comes with a manual, plenty of information about the model. So let's get started and we look at the front of the machine. You have the rollers at the front here and here and they are functioning Perfectly roll well with a tire from a tipper. The hoppers, they fold in to dump in excess material into the belt feed. Unfortunately, the belt feed is just a die cast and it's not rubber. The engine cover, I think, comes up. There we go. back down don't want to break anything up into the cab cab folds up and down so we'll fold it down for transport and fold it back up then for when it's operating the sides fold out to provide extra shade cover on those sunny days the operators cab Moves out both sides to provide extra viewing angles. And their console inside, my fat fingers won't get in there, moves from left to right. Hmm. The tracks of the machine, they're made of metal. And they move nice and freely. You can see the detail in the back of the two augers. They move nice and freely for distributing the material towards the back. At the back of the machine, hydraulics will move it up and down for when you're in transport mode and working mode. And the screen Falls out. Plenty of detail in the model. There's an operator console on both sides for when the operator is working on the right side or the left side. One thing that didn't come with the model or isn't available in the diecast community is a material a bin which works great for the power feeder but nothing a few measurements and the 3d printer won't fix so 
we have the Verglar Power Feeder MT3000 in front of us. The model is made by NZG and comes with a manual that has plenty of information regards the model and in real life. The manual makes for great reading before going to bed. Plenty of information. Right, let's have a look at the model and starting from the front. We have rollers at the front. Move left to right. We'll go well with the tipper trailer tires. The hopper sides slide out for when it's in operation mode and reveals a rubber belt. Unfortunately, this rubber belt is not functional. Up in the cab, canopy folds down to go into transfer mode. And we fold it back up for operation mode. The operator seats on both sides come out to give the operator a better view. And that moves from side to side. Also, the canopy extends out sideways to provide better sh shade from the sun. At the back of the model, we have the power feeder. So that moves left, right, down and back up. See the stiff movement in it. Great for holding a pose. It also has a belt. Unfortunately, just like the front, the belt is not functional. We have side panels, which reveal the engine on the inside and panels on the opposite side, which provide more detail. Fantastic. The tracks are made out of plastic, rubber, quite stiff to move it would have been great if they were made of metal and there you see the belt for the hopper unfortunately isn't functional all in all a nice little model